because we're Who scored that? Good evening and welcome to Sports Fan Base Network Rhode Island live coverage of RIIL Division I Boys Soccer from Connolly Stadium in Providence, Rhode Island. We apologize for technical difficulties coming on the air late and we apologize to all the LaSalle fans out there who missed the goal by Nathan Lagoa that has the LaSalle Academy Rams up 1-0 early in this first half. Matt Jolis in the broadcast booth with you here as we look at Central High Knights in a defensive posture right now as the goalkeeper, William Paracale, sends the ball out, playing around the 40 touch line on the football lines. For those of you who are looking at the field, the yellow lines are your soccer lines for tonight's game, so we'll be talking about those throughout the course of the match. Central Knights in the black with yellow numbers and trim LaSalle in their all white kits with the maroon. Defensive play here in the backfield for Central. Ball on the outside touchline. Now flicked up. Midfield play. Tapped away by John Gagan from LaSalle. And as it pings around through the center, trying to gain control either side. Leading pass into the back third, and LaSalle will clear that out. Sending it up into midfield, trying to connect there was Michael Hostetter, unable to do so, and it heads back the way of the Rams, of the Knights, excuse me. Outside play for Torres. Now pushed up midfield. Leading pass, trying to connect onto the side there. That was an intended number for a seven, Zach Pacheco. Now on the outside touchline, pushing into the box. Nobody there on the lead. It'll head out, and it will be a Knights 6. 28-48 left to go in the first half. As you are looking at the Connolly Stadium turf, a brand new field just recently put in as they are going through renovations here at the legendary Connolly Stadium. Play on the outside touchline, incoming Knights throw. And that will be number 13, Jeffrey Morales, who had it. He's going to walk away. Actually, check that. It's going to be a Rams throw, and that's going to come in from John Gagan. Gagan up to the top of the arc, looking for Lagoa. Lagoa tap, and it goes off of the hands of the goalkeeper, Paracale. So a corner kick for the Rams. Lagoa already has one on the board this evening, looking for a second early here in the first half of action. Four inside the box, in swinging corner kick, coming on the side, goes way over top of the head of everyone, trying to get the connection that looked to be number 12, Ian Mackin on the outside there. Incoming play on the throw in now. This is going to be Jeremy Juarez. Juarez into the midfield. LaSalle defense playing to the lower third, trying to box Central in, forcing Central to create long balls, and it's leaving out the center backs with ability to be able to maintain possession and turn over. Gigan had an opportunity on the outside. He tripped over the ball, scribs out of bounds, heads in on the throw in from Morales. Morales now to Penafil. Tossed back around inside to Rivera Izaguirre. Back into the lower third again. 
This time picked up by Paracale. Progression ball out from the backfield. Heading up mid. Connection point there. And that is Cameron Aldana, number 19, the senior midfielder for the Knights. Play here now inside the 20. Chance and pushed right out on the touchline, kept in bounds, and it will actually be a turnover here, and the Rams have a run of play. Chance tipped off of the ball that looked to be Isaiah Karai that made the dispossession. And a foul called, restart par Calais. That possession intercepted by Gagan. Gagan now goes outside touchline, puts it onto the foot of Perulo. Check that, sorry, that was uh, number 20, Bambrala. As we are very high up in the Connolly stands and it's sometimes difficult when you have small dark numbers to be able to see. <laughs> Knight's possession here now from Morales. Backfield possession play, trying to go up through the midfield again, picked off by the Rams. Central has tried that same possession play into the center of the mid three times now, and all three times it's been picked off by a Rams midfielder. Outside possession play tipped away. One more time from Aldana. I was off of the foot of Torres. Torres here inside the six. Cracker of a shot and a goal. <laughs> Daniel Torres, the junior forward for LaSalle, has put them two to the good in the 24th minute left to go in the first half. And while that might be a smart spot for LaSalle to be, anyone who knows soccer knows that a 2-0 lead is the worst kind of lead that you can have in this game, especially being in the first half. So LaSalle is going to still have to keep their foot to the pedal. Here they go again. Another opportunity. Front play at the 30, coming back now onto Gay again. Taps back. For Rivera, crossfield shot. They'll have to pick up play opposite touchline, bench side touchline now, and they're going to try to come back across the field. Central has changed their defensive posture. They are playing 3 3 now, where they are going for a high press situation, trying to maintain that offensive prowess that's been coming out of the LaSalle Rams. Dropped back, Costa goes to the outside, switch field play, trying to connect to Lagoa. They cannot connect either, and they also could not connect with Bambrella. Push from behind and an advantage called on the foul. Restart coming from Moses Morales. All sorts of action at the arc as they are scattering, trying to get something set. Referee now has them set. Morales with a play in swing to the top of the arc. That gets bumped out. Clearing opportunity there, gets it onto the foot of Izaguirre, he's able to get it as far as midfield. Now a chance here, open space. If they can get a leading pass to the outside touchline, they do. Connected run, switched here now. Izaguirre has a chance. Izaguirre coming through top of the arc and it's tapped away from danger by the LaSalle defense, and it hits the stick and stays in bounds, and there's a fight in the corner, and it's going to get called off of the foot of Central. 
So it will be a Rams six. A very rare situation where you see a ball actually hit the flag stick and stay right in bounds. Everyone thought it was out. And a few depths of Rams defenders picked up the play. Long ball, 40, 50 yard boot out into the midfield play, bouncing around a few times before finally getting settled and taking control for a moment by Central. They have a run here, looks to be Torres on the outside line, he cannot control. Midfield action one more time. Rams trying to turn around. This is Pennefield now for the Knights. Comes across, leading pass for Izaguirre. And a 1v1 situation forces the ball out of bounds. It goes off of a Knights defender. So it will be a Rams throw in one more time. Push play here. Gagan tries to go the opposite direction. That's denied. This time it goes to the Knights. Izaguirre in a tie up. Looking for a corner position. Here's an opportunity here inside the box. This is Chandvak Morales to the top again. Now a chance there for Aldana and no avail either way. Three chances there for the Knights. They are unable to put anything further than the top of the six. And we stay at 2-0. Whistle on the field and a timeout as we've reached the 1925 mark of the first half. The and that is a mask break in RIIL rules. Opportunity for the players to get a little bit of hydration and then also to be able to change the masks that all the players are wearing on the field as part of the social distancing and prevention measures being done by the RWIL that is allowing these teams to be able to play during the midst of everything going on. For those tuning in, just a recap on it. We have had two goals to the good so far here for LaSalle. One coming off of the foot of Nathan Lagoa early on, and then a second one added to it. Has put LaSalle two to the good. Once we restart from the mask break, we will have 1923 left to go here in the first half. LaSalle Academy coming into this game, three wins, no draws, one loss on the season. Currently ranked eighth in the Rhode Island state rankings. Central high, just one win, one draw, five losses, putting them at 33rd in the state rankings right now. Game one of a slew of action coming up on SFBNRI throughout the course of the week. We will be in Woonsaka tomorrow for Mount St. Charles versus Panagansett. And then a double header day coming up this weekend at Cranston West. We will have both the boys and girls games on Saturday. And of course, you can tune in early Saturday morning as SFBNRI's own show, Sports World Weekly, will be broadcasting live from that stadium, our own version of Game Day Live, <laughs> to get you started on a Saturday morning full of soccer. Back in action now here as... A opportunity here for Central. They have a full run of play at top of the arc and tipped off. And it looks like we're going to get a card as he was behind the play. And yes, that is an issued card. It's going to be outside of the box, so it's not a penalty kick situation. 
but a booking there as a push from behind came from what looked to be from I believe that might have been Kenny Andrade guilty of the push. Sorry, check that. Jaden Costa. That's Jaden Costa that was guilty of the push there, the midfielder. And he is booked. So a restart situation. Restart situation here right at the top of the arc. Central for a chance to strike one back here. Comes off of number seven, Jeremy Juarez, right into the defensive posture of the wall built by four LaSalle defenders, and now they have a run of play. Deep byline, two position out, nobody in the box. Four players, four LaSalle sitting in the 18. And here's an opportunity as an in-swinging ball comes right through. Tapped off by Maximiliano Cantano. And a dive down, easy advantage called in the situation. A tip over play. Ethan Morris gets knocked down in a restart. Outside now to Gay again. Midfield play here for Central. Outside touchline. Trying to pick up. Overtaken there by LaSalle. A smart play coming from Morris. And a shot. A shot more than a pass there. Went straight through. Trying to get onto the foot of Bambrella. Opportunity here now for Hofstetter. Out of bounds. Throw in Hofstetter. He's pushed around there. Now it's sent through to Morales. Opposite side, touchline all the way away. Last off of a LaSalle player, so Central will have opportunity. Possession play through into the midfield to Costa. Touchline far side, run of play here. Opportunity for LaSalle, shot goes right across the mouth of the goal and does not connect with the opposing post. Restart here now for Central. Yeah. Outside opportunity, trying to work near side touchline. No place here to go. Four away. Tossed off here by Morris. Midside, Central now controlling. Outside for Aldana. To Torres. Back inside Aldana one more time. Long opportunity there from Penafiel as it goes right into the back of two Rams defenders. Goes opposite direction all the way down. Shepherded aside. Paracale in the corner trying to defend. That's going to go out of play. And a six. Smart move by Paracale to shepherd the play across. Thirteen fifty-two left to go here in the first half of action. The LaSalle Rams two to the good, leading two nil over the Central High Knights. Paracale here, long ball, topped off, hits for Aldana. Aldana trying to control, and he was 
infracted, so it's going to be a restart position that's going to start off the foot of Izaguirre inside to Penafiel. Opportunity touch side now as they go back looking for Torres. Torres has a spot in the box. He's a get a chance out and a corner kick called. <laughs> and it looks to be Juarez sending to the corner there. Looking to put something into danger. Low kick on the ground, heads right into the six, right to a LaSalle defender and right back out. So it will be a throw in now for Juarez once again. Deep throw. This time gets it inside the box. Opportunity right there, top of the post, tapped away. And it goes wide of all comers. So a six for Aiden Figueroa. Central has had a few opportunities inside of the 18, but nothing that has bothered Figueroa too much. And now some discussion going on on the sidelines, and it looks like we're going to get a substitution for LaSalle. Whistled back in play by the referee, and now Figueroa has his kick. Midfield spot. Trying to get that onto the head of Juarez. Battle in the midfield there between Juarez and Pacheco. Now heads back. Outside line play here for Central now. Opportunity, and they can do nothing with it. Yeah. Turnover and a toss in from Morris. Backfield play taken off by Central. Central having all sorts of opportunities here and nothing able to convert. And LaSalle might need to check their midfield possession play as Central is figuring out a way all of a sudden to pick them off. Figure out uh, once again with the restart. LaSalle coming into the game tonight had 15 goals on the season, just surrendering four goals in the four games that they have played. They are currently on a three-match winning streak. After they dropped their season opener to South Kingstown, they have won three straight. That puts them at the three wins, no draws, one loss record they currently have. After tonight's game, they'll be back in action Friday away to North Kingstown. Central now in the touchline. Opportunity here for Izaguirre. Trying to push through. Izaguirre has it. 18 best opportunity that Central had. And he is dispossessed and it's run right out of action. Now opportunity going the opposite direction. Hofstetter, he's dispossessed. And a midfield battle has started to develop between both Central and LaSalle. Here's Hofstetter now. If it's controlled, it is by Pacheco. Back to Hofstetter. Pacheco, he's picked off by Peniel. Long opportunity, way deep, coming out of the box and offsides called before it was gotten to by Figueroa. A smart run of play there came from Chanfak Morales, but he was off sides, little two in front of the pass. Touchline. Now back to midfield here. Opportunity. Aldana trying to go through the middle. That goes opposite touchline now, and here's 
once again onto the foot of Hofstetter, who goes reverse field one more time and bumped out of play, it will be a central ball. Pacheco tried to make a run there on the defensive play. This goes back into Aldana. And a midfield battle royale causes a fall and a restart for LaSalle Hofstetter. Trying to dribble through three central defenders. Passes it off onto the foot of Pacheco. Wild strike from the top of the 18. As Pacheco did a little flick dump behind him. And with 7.38 left to go in the first, LaSalle was trying to go three to the good. That was onto the foot of Ian Mackin, the senior forward. Tried to put it in play and went just over the top of the frame. Now onto the foot of Garcia. Garcia goes back. He's dispossessed, but the possession point is now picked up by Irizgare to Penafiel. Now a chance here. Onto the foot of Garcia, but he runs out of space and time as it had been picked up by Figueroa. And so we are going to have a restart. Six and a half left to go in the first. Figueroa goes wide of the opportunity there as he had an on-running Hofstetter. Hofstetter now in the defensive position. Opportunity here as that is picked off on the throw-in by Morales. They go opposite side, leading past no one there on the run. That'll trickle out of bounds, and we'll get a restart from Paracale. Paracale takes the throw. Progressive play here for Central. Three on the line. Bounced out in another touchline pick. One more play here into the center. Again, into the four box. They have been trying to get through that box four that LaSalle has been playing on the touchline through the 30-40. And they have every single possession so far, every single throw in and or kick, they've had it dispossessed going the opposite direction. So Central's coaches during the halftime break might need to discuss how they're going to work touchline throw ins in the second half. Though to the LaSalle coaches, they will be giving kudos to their midfield for strong defensive play. Shepherded back here, Figueroa picks it up. Waiting to get his midfielders back into play. Figueroa has a very large boot available. He has been putting balls about 50 to 60 yards out as this one is going to go again. Another punt all the way down to the 30 of the football field. And he took that one from the 10. Opportunity here now for LaSalle. Ball bounces through. Pushed off of the 18, goes down, no foul called. Separation between the ball and the player, so it is just an open field bump. But Lagoa looked a little bothered by it. Now comes Central, outside opportunity here. On to the foot of Garcia. Garcia is going through the middle. Garcia tops it off. That is sent top of the box. And that may be a penalty kick. He was very close to the line. There's definitely going to be a card on it. And we'll see if the referee goes to the spot. But Garcia dumped the ball off. And immediately, 
the attacking central player was tripped right at the line. Without question, a card on the play. As Izaguirre was taken down, the question is going to be, and the two referees are conversing now, whether or not Izaguirre and both the ball had gotten into the box before he was taken down. If so, it will be a penalty kick. But it looks like this is going to stay right at the top of the 18. Two players over top of the ball for the Knights. Number seven, Jeremy Juarez is there. Also standing nearby is Torres. And that looks possibly to be Izaguirre. Juarez takes it right into the wall. Second opportunity. Crack shot scored. Hit the post, actually. Well, well, well. That came right off of the inside of the crossbar and went outward rather than downward. And a save by the goaltender's three best friends. And Figueroa breathes a sigh of relief, but still not out of danger here. More opportunity. Izaguirre, Juarez. Touchline opportunity. Izaguirre inside to Penafield. Penafield now sends it outside. Midfield play from Karwai. And a tie up in the center of the pitch sends the number 13 of Moses the first half plus whatever added time may be coming field Lagoa over top of the ball here long boot by Lagoa opposite Right to the corner byline. What a wild play in swinging. Look to be hot. Right now, looks content to just be able to. Through the midfield. Bambrala. Now back to the center back. Control here and pushed down is Morales. Have to finish the game. Yeah, that should be. The play here, waiting for a whistle from the center referee. One more run here. Attack point, Pacheco in the middle. Paracalli looking to clear quickly. Space for Central to take a run. Onto the foot of Garcia. Opportunity here. Garcia now with a out of play and a bump and an advantage called as going and he was bumped off by So a restart opportunity for Torres over top of the ball alongside in swinging kick flicked away heads for the corner actually will stay in play central now maintaining pushed over and 
And that is the whistle finally for half, putting LaSalle to started early on. We will take a short break and be right back. You're watching RIIL.
good. You can just like tap and Welcome back to Matchless with you here in the booth as we are into the second half of action, LaSalle Academy Rams, two to the good. In the first half, and now here we go with second half action, Central High Knights. Al Rams in the all white kits with the maroon numbers. Midfield possession opportunity here, tapped away, goes outside onto the foot of Ian Mackin. Mackin now in right around the 18, and they're going to look for an in swing play to the box now. Three away, actually a All three of LaSalle's forwards win, one draw, five losses on the season. They are trying to turn their season around as they have to Moses Brown, LaSalle, who got their South Kingston has gone three to the good now. Fifteen goals for. They've added two to that tonight. So 17 on the season, having only surrendered four in this, their fifth game. Versailles Central has had six goals for and But an opportunity here for Penafiel in the midfield. And sends it to the top of the arc, bounces around through two LaSalle players, and then is immediately kicked all the way back out to midfield. That is then controlled. Domingo flicks outside onto the foot of Mackin. Mackin to De Palma. Picked off there by Domingo. Domingo foot of Bambala. And Bambala taken down. This will be De Palma. De Palma, one of five forwards on the list. Offense will be looking at a total reset next season. 
dispossession play smartly in the center of the pitch from Costa. Side touchline and out of play. Central restart opportunity here. Trying to go to the midfield. It tips off and is actually taken up. For a moment. He will toss that ball off. Finds the outside and Vera. <laughs> Figuera trying to be a little kitschy there, thinking that. But it actually is a six, and so he'll have to walk it back. Long boot here by Figuera. Dead center of the pitch, 50 50 ball. Opportunity outside here. Check that. Domingo there in the center of the pitch along with De Palma. Now three. No card given, but a. From Bambala. Kitchy play there, trying to go to the outside for Mack, and he had an opportunity to get around on the corner. They could not get the ball across the central wall. Toe through the midfield, onto the foot of Garcia. Garcia tries to go. He's going to have to pass back. That is tr attempted to be controlled on the touchline. Here's De Palma again. Long throw. Tapped. Torres. Cannot connect with a running Knights forward on the opposite side, and so it comes back in. LaSalle throw back in the center. Line and instead. It's picked off by LaSalle, which is then dispossessed and turned right back around. LaSalle then goes over top on the overlap. The box, and that one has to get called. Between Torres and a couple of LaSalle defenders... And that is the third time that we have seen a player go down on an attacking. And this time the ball was inside of the box. And so we will have our first. And the referees to a central player. And an opportunity. For Juarez. Against Aiden Figuera. Final instructions to Figuera, making sure. Juarez. He's got it to the bottom corner, and Juarez has pulled one back for the central high. Brilliant stutter step strike into the deep corner. And with 31 minutes left to What a change. Central has seemingly, from about 10 minutes left in the first half, started to chip. 
in the midfield and in the lower third against this LaSalle defense. They have been knocking on the a spot kick and they have pulled it back. Here's an opportunity now here in the 18. Calls for handball from a number of the LaSalle players as A couple of different saved by Paracale there. Central on the attack now. A different change from what we saw in swinging the opposite direction. Opportunity here. And LaSalle gets called for an illegal throw, and so it's going to go. Tic-tac-toe ball through the midfield. LaSalle trying to gain any possible opportunity. Foot of Juarez outside here. Opportunity here. to Penafiel. Penafiel goes back midfield. Collapsing defense there as Izaguirre was trying to run. Or as strike comes back, Penafiel misses the connection. LaSalle has the pickup and they will clear on to Patacale's foot. Patacale has a little bit of a struggle. What is here now? Cannot connect. Go Gonzalez there. Penafiel now 1v1 against Lagoa. Lagoa wins the better of that battle for De Palma. De Palma he was trying to connect with Mackin. Comes all the way back to midfield. Now De Palma. This time he's able to picked off by Central and sent the opposite way. Battle on the bench side now. Has Central in the center. Here's LaSalle with a run here. They are trying to run through the middle. They have tried to run through the outside line and Central's defense has changed. Have become a brick wall, not allowing LaSalle anywhere near the arc. Restart opportunity now for... In Sweden. Sent back. Long ball. It is on sides. Opportunity here now for LaSalle. Quick back defensive possession. Shepherds it to the outside. And a six called. The central defense playing with a bit of reckless. Long run to be able to stop. Central that gets into the midfield for Torres. Torres 2v2 and Torres the guilty party that time around. And a re side here for De Palma now. De Palma tries to go through. This is now onto the foot of Domingo. He tries to go through unavailed. Six left to go. 
Central has pulled one back here in the second half on the penalty kick connection by Juarez. given as the ball will just tickle out of bounds and Meza will get the throw in. Actually, he will tap that off. And that'll be Diego Gonzalez. Gonzalez taps into Meza. Meza is picked off of the play. Bambala has been all over on that touchline today for LaSalle. And if there was a defensive player... Another foul just on the outside of the box and talking twos on both sides. Fourth time the referees have gone to the book tonight. So they are still at 11 aside. The last thing that you would want to do in this situation would. So they will breathe a sigh of relief for head coach Joao Santos. In swinging ball right off the top. And so a six there for Paracale. Boot back to center. Opportunity here now sends back into the lower third. And a whistle by the referee stopping the play. It was in open field, so not a. It was in LaSalle's. And with there being no players within about a 20-foot radius. And some consternation from the LaSalle. As the RWIL has put restrictions on spectators in any field of play. Not with us here in the stadium tonight. Live. We will have a number of games coming up throughout the course of the week. So make sure of the sports fan base network, Rhode Island. Fishing on our double I. Figueroa with a long boot here. Tapped down. Through. For Penn. And this will once again be Gonzalez with the throw. Bothered, asserted themselves in the first 20 minutes of the second half and completely sent play. Now Wara is here for the Knights. Long ball to the top of the arc, to the 18. Cleared out of play. inside trying to go to the box again and central has now oh really yeah. right to the top of the six and into the mixer and whenever construction call 
So Figueroa will have long ball over top of the heads of at midfield no call and actually now they will as there is no advantage available and so it will get called back and they will restart Alma makes a move around, controls ball back, tie up there in the midfield. Domingo gets his feet in a tangle, and they will get the obstruction call. And again, the referee is telling them to make sure they are taking their 10. This game has become very test. The 20 minute mark in the second half. Scatter play here from LaSalle. Start for Central. Far side. Central will be back in action on Thursday. They will play away to Bishop Hendricken for to North Kingstown as we reach into the final month of action. Any potential playoffs and championship rounds. Right now on that as they have three wins, no draws, and one loss on the season. Has them currently ranked eighth. All the way out of the edge of the 18, denies an opportunity and sends it the way of the Knights. Back across here now, picked up. Knights looking for play. Taken off. And controlled by LaSalle. Ping pong play, Penafiel now. Switched their plan of attack and reversed which players are on which side of the field as they are trying to change touch lines. It still has not worked, but yet they were with an opportunity to release Gonzalez in with 17.42, and we have reached our second half mask break. So Juarez has pulled one back for the Central High Knights as they came into the first half. 2-1 LaSalle both of their goals in the second in the first half of play excuse me early into the match
and a throw in for LaSalle, but that is taken away. Rams sent out of play, and so it will be Gonzalez. Illegal throw called. He did not go over top of his head, and so it will turn around and send to the Rams De Palma. near side to our broadcast position, far side from the team benches. Side line. As we mentioned earlier, for the LaSalle Rams, so their entire offensive unit next season will be refreshed from the junior varsity. and sophomores playing in JV right now are going to get a quick introduction to the varsity side when the team gets back into action. Play here now for Penafiel. Midfield opportunity sent way long and way wide. Only one play. We'll have a restart. Central getting pushed back as they have the throw in, but that ball came out around about the midfield stripe. Fifteen forty left to go in the second half. LaSalle trying to see out their fourth win of the season. Should they be able to hold on to this two one lead? But Central has Out the second half of play. Controlled opportunity here now. Midfield trying to get up. That's Chantfak Morales. Morales. Back. Now on the outside. Bothered here in play. Morales is there. Chantfak Morales is there. Mace is there. Mellitz. Far outside is Gire. And pushed out now by LaSalle. Onto the foot of Gonzalez. Gonzalez right to the top of the arc. Chanfak Morales was there. Long with look to be Daniel Torres and. Nathan Lagoa down to the turf, and LaSalle will now get possession. All the way up from his goalkeeper position to take this kick, as he can get it all the way down inside of the 18. What an opportunity there, as he put it right onto the head. Hofstetter was looking for the opportunity there. Unable to connect. Mesa now goes back into the mix. And it comes all the way back out. De Palma. Ball pops out. Lagoa. Trying to front looked to be Garcia. Mesa now switching back as they run a Z route. One play that is Shepard out of bounds. Oh. 
sent back into play now. Right. Out one more time. So LaSalle will go back to the touchline and throw again. LaSalle certainly welcome to seeing the clock play to the good of the Rams who currently lead two to one. And offsides called. Or did it trickle out short before he was able to gain control? In fact, it actually did it trickle. third throw in at the top of the arc just softly fluttered in and Patrick one v one opportunity oh it goes through Hofstetter picks it up oh, approaching here Pacheco has been up and they have been knocking on the door and LaSalle is trying to get a third but shepherded out of play And if you've been following all of the SFBNRI social in the press box tonight as we are high atop of Connolly Stadium, a beautiful just a little breeze and for being towards the middle of November as we approach on that this weekend, it is surprising. fall to be 74 degrees earlier today at the high I can definitely say walking around road used to maybe such is 2020 <laughs> and another booking by the referees a fifth Surprisingly, no player from either Central or LaSalle has picked up a second. Has been sent off. And a restart here outside to. Trying to get through to Hofstetter. Hofstetter flicks over De Palma on the overlap run. And approaching, but he is unable to. Paracale will start with the six. Back by the referee as he tried to go very quick. Central is trying to push the octane and see if they can. De Palma here sends it back in for the Rams as they are looking for a brace that might be able to put this one. Dispossession play there midfield. 1v1 right at the pitch. Now is Aguirre. Actually, he'll start. Takes a more offensive position to the top of the 18. Opportunity. Uh, has the save. 
clock management for the Rams is key. All the way back into the defensive line. This is Jeffrey Mar Evades the head of Penafiel and two other nice opportunity now here. Lagoa has Hofstetter up top. Six minutes left to go here in the second. LaSalle leading two to one. They are pressing the midfield. One, two in the backfield. A four across the mid. Clearly looking to contain and see out the rest of this match. 1v1 situation. Is he going to take a crack from 20 out? He does, and Patakale gets it off the one hop. So no opportunity to push to the outside, and Hofstetter just decides to take a crack at it, but it skips the Goa. Nathan Lagoa got the... LaSalle putting them one to the good at that point. They added a second one from... Two to the good now before Juarez pulled defensively it's going to be a free kick for Central as Central guilty of the infraction long ball trying to get on to the head of De Palma. Hofstetter and Mackin both bothering the Knights defenders. Controlled by Costa. Costa gets bumped off of the play, and it's an opportunity now here for Central. Chanvac Morales has a chance to go inside. Can't, and so Diego Gonzalez will get these. Juarez hits off of Morales and off. Three minutes left to go in the match, and Central is pressing. Long ball opportunity now to the touchline. Midfield throw back into the lower third again. This will be picked, sent to the outside line. First time we've been able to call Maldivon's name tonight for Central as he's gotten into the action. Out at the near side line of the lower third. Here with two minutes left to go. actually takes this. There's four central players around the ball. And it looks to be as though like they're going to 
And it's up and good if we are playing football of the other sort. And so we stay at 2-1 to LaSalle. The chance here to clear. Clock to our left has stopped at the two minute mark as the officials will control final time. On your screens is unofficial time, though we believe we're pretty close to the official. Matches Patacale has come from his net all the way up into the box. A la Michelle Benos that has a chance for it. And goal. That is. In soccer, in many leagues across the world, whether it be at the high school, the college, or Famously done here in the U.S. in the National Women's Soccer League by Michelle Betos for the Portland Thorns, who actually scored the goal. ...to score a goal in a professional soccer game. Uh, last opportunities here now. Gonzalez sends it into the midfield that it will... be coming just any moment here from the referee probably on the instance of this throw which will come from De Palma gets to Gonzalez back into the midfield Figueroa shuffle coming from a central player, Figueroa, bothered by it and will hold on for a moment as the center referee looking at his watch, whistle. This one off the list and put a fourth win in. They have surrendered just their fifth goal of the season tonight, but it is enough that they may hold out and find themselves. Game done, and LaSalle now has a f game? I guess not. a while, and the referee was looking at his watch and blew a whistle in which many of the LaSalle players thought was end of the game. Central no avail. Patacale has come all the way up from his goal and is left open here. Attack play there from he can scares it. He goes scares. Want that back at the end of the night. How much time they've actually added on and or how far off the scoreboard might have been with all of the bookings that occurred. Up to the 18 again. Central has ball here. Inside to the 18, tipped over, no call. Line, and it will be a six. And all sorts of is going to go to the book again. A all for the knot as. The final whistle this time does sound, and LaSalle now books and a 